In addition to birth art created by ancient and tribal people, many drawings of birth were made during the 1800s by anthropologists recording the ways of native people in America. An American doctor, George Engelman, studied the birth postures of Native Americans and compared them with postures used by tribal people in other parts of the world. His book, Labor Among Primitive Peoples, published in 1882, included his finding that most people throughout the world gave birth in an upright posture, often using stakes, ropes, or bars for support. The Chippewa device is very similar to a birth bar developed recently for use in hospital births. Engelman found that even American pioneer women gave birth in upright postures. But unlike Native women, they were usually assisted by their husbands, friends, and sometimes by a doctor. They often sat on a chair, drawing on the old European tradition of birthing chairs. As a result of his study, Engelman came to believe that the civilized, flat-on-the-back posture for birth appeared to cause complications, which women in upright postures did not experience. While Engelman was studying birth practices in North America, British medical student Robert Felkin was doing the same in Central Africa. His paper on birth posture, published in 1884, included many drawings of African birth customs. Again, in Falcon's drawings, we see examples of the classic pose. In 1887, G. J. Witkowski published a major book on birth customs, A History of Childbirth of All the People. It contains over a thousand illustrations, many showing examples of the classic pose. Witkowski found the Sioux tribe of North America practiced an interesting variation on the classic pose. The mother stood up, facing and hanging on to a strong man for support, while the midwife knelt in back to receive the baby. This northern Mexico mother holds a rope for support while the helper behind presses on the top of the mother's uterus with a band. A birth scene from Japan shows a rather formal, modest setting with all the essential elements of the classic pose. Even today, traditional birth practices look very much the same as those recorded in the 19th century. A 1986 illustration from Nigeria shows the classic pose being used by rural African women. In America today, traditional birth postures have been revived. This illustration from the 1992 edition of Our Bodies Ourselves shows postures suggested for labor and delivery, which are identical to those used by ancient and tribal people.